Hey there. Greetings, everybody. Greetings, greetings, greetings. So, let me just turn up my volume. I'm actually sitting in the car right now because it's a little better for me to communicate. So, you guys, how was everybody feeling today? I know some of you guys are fasting and it's new to you. How's everybody feeling? feeling wonderful, wonderful, wonderful today. I'm feeling powerful. I'm feeling magical. I'm feeling you guys waking up because the more you guys wake up, you make me wake up. So I love it. Hey, sis, can you hear me? Let me see. Let me see who we got in the house. Everybody drop something in and let me know you in the house. Today we're going to get a little deep. Because stuff is happening and it's happening at a rapid rate. I want to let a little bit more people come in here, you guys. So just bear with me. Don't click off yet. I see you joint. Just bear with me for a little bit. Um, let me get a little bit more people in the house. Because um, we're about to get deep. And I just want to make sure, because I don't like to repeat myself. So... I'm kind of trying to wait till more people come on here. Okay, so as I'm waiting before I I deep I jump deep into this, um, tell me how you feel it. I know this is gonna go on YouTube and people are gonna be like, well, I can't reply how I'm feeling. <laughs> but how's everybody feeling? How's this energy affecting you? Anybody want to tell me? Anybody want to talk? Well, I'm just going to dive in it, and whoever misses out in the beginning is just going to have to go back. So I'm just going to go in it, because nobody doesn't really seem responsive. So um, I know I spoke about this before, but I think we need to redress, readdress it some more. And this detachment. Detachment from humanly things. We often preach and say that we're gods and we're this and we're that. And we think just because we put a hair wrap on or just because we say I shay and be loved and be loved and you eat vegan food and your raw food is and you do yoga and meditation every day, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that you're spiritual. All that stuff that's being done is being done by the human side of you. The human side wants to fit in and wants to do this stuff. But the spiritual aspect of the spirituality is, it's in the mind. And I know everybody's on different levels. But ladies and gentlemen that are, you know, want to do this quote-unquote spiritual thing, you have to detach from a lot of things. We hold on to so much things. But we want to be gods, we want to be kings, we want to be all of this, but we just hold on to so much attachment. We want to strive, we want to do these uh, different things, but we we hold on to attachments, we hold on to fear. So that means you're still operating in the material world. You can't try to be so spiritual and get caught up in the material world. Yes, we are living in the material world. But that doesn't per se mean you have to let it take over. You have to be able to let go. Let go. Your mom, your dad, your children, your uncle, your grandma, your grandpa, your grand, 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 grandpa, papa, is your physical avatar 3D dimensional family. They're truly underneath the avatar a soul like you on your own journey like you are. So you have to let those people go sometimes to make it forward. And this is, I'm going to, and I'm saying all of this to sum it up to what I'm really about to say. Um, I know one of my sisters, uh, she was asking, you know, what does it take to, uh, to make a sisterhood strong? And these are just some of the things that I see. 
Facebook is good. It's a starting lineup. We can connect through Facebook. But the thing is, on Facebook, a lot of people talk. It's something fun to do. You know, we can all talk on Facebook. And, you know, talk all day. Talk. People talk shit. And so many people, I had so many people tell me they were going to do stuff for me. They didn't do it. I just take it with a grain of salt. You know, whatever should flow, should flow. But I think what to bring, the thing is we need to know our roles. That's what I think a big thing is, sisters. In order to bring our sisterhood together, we need to know our role. Men, you guys need to know your role. We've been in a patriarchal society for numerous of years. Everything has been ruled by masculine energy, by force, by control. In order to bring harmony and balance to this planet, this is a new age. The masculine energy and the men's doing the you know doing all the, the talks and the spitting the knowledge, that time it is fading away and it's over. Okay? Because the divine feminine energy is coming to rise. And no matter what brother has tapped into his divine feminine energy, he doesn't have a wound. He's not truly connected to everything. So with that being said, we need to play our roles. Men, let's get into circles, get into men's circles. Show the other men how to be warriors. If y'all y'all preach so much about the queens, this, the queens, this, we got to protect the queens, the queens, she's the womb man. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, let us have our, our turn now. Y'all, 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 some of y'all did a good job. A lot of gentlemen out there, when I came up in here, I was learning from them. So no disrespect on it. But now it's the time, it's a new age. We are ushering a new age, women and gentlemen. It is time for the warriors. We made you to be warriors. Don't get up in our intuition and our spirituality. Don't get, connect like we can connect. You can't truly Come that with the divine message. Be warriors. We need you guys for that. We need you guys to protect us if any physical harm comes in our way. We will protect y'all when anything metaphysically happens. But we need y'all to we need y'all strength, y'all muscle, building stuff for us, teaching the boys how to because we can't be teaching the boys how to be warriors. Y'all got to do that. Let's change the roles. The roles is jacked up. Women, we need to get back on the throne. Now, I'm going to take it a little deeper for y'all. I had to push the seat back. Women, we are the creators. Everything comes from us. Everything comes from the womb. So with that being said, in order for everything to get back into that true alignment, women, we have to start coming together physically, not just over this internet and stuff like this. We have to start getting back into our powers and coming together physically. We give birth. It's time for us to get back on our throne. We are the masculine and the feminine energy. That's how we birthed the masculine. Because we are both. We have the original DNA and the original genes. We have the XX. It's not that it's XY. It's X mutated X. So with that being said, we are chasing something that's already us. I'm not saying, no, leave your husbands, leave your boyfriends. and No, that's not what I'm telling you to do. You still can enjoy your boyfriends and your husbands and all that good stuff. But know that that masculine energy that you seek is inside of you. That's why you're looking for it. Even with your man and with your husband, you're still not happy. You're still not happy. Some of y'all be lurking. Some of y'all be cheating. 
because that masculine energy is not enough for you, you guys. Keep searching. You searching for yourself. You are the masculine and the feminine energy. And when you come at balance, for first, first, when you come in that Indranius state, that quote-unquote hermaphrodite state, not the physical, I'm not talking about hermaphrodite, you got a penis, you got a vagina, I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about the form of the energies, the androgyny is coming back. You think that we were split off genders before? We were one gender. Gender is something human-like. We get too caught up in, that's wrong, that's right, that's male, that's female, that's uh, gay, that's lesbian, that's straight, that's this, that's that. We compare and we compare and can we compare because we are split off. We have to come to one. And when you come to one, you become childlike. You don't judge stuff. Uh -uh, I can't do that because that's like that and that's like that. You got to detach from all of that. You have to be fearless we have to get ready to connect and build covenants not just on facebook some of the stuff that i want to bring to the table i can't even bring to the table online because everybody ain't, ain't ain't ready for this some of you guys are still vibrating low and when you start vibrating low when you start taking out and this and this this magic and this science starts getting to you you're gonna start doing quote unquote what y'all will call negative things with the energy because you ain't ready for it. So, ladies, we need to stop. We need to detach from the materialistic things. I'm not saying don't get no worldly, earthly possessions, but sometimes we're too possessed by it. We got to take pictures every five minutes. When I go live, when I'm taking pictures, it's about some information. It's about an experience. I'm not going to just be posting pictures every Five minutes. Look now. How I look now. Who I look now. How I look. How I look. Fuck all that. It's time to get in this science. Women cl claim your roles. Men claim your roles. It's time for you to be where you're supposed to be. We have to be free. We can't be like, well, I got this job. I can't make it here. I can't make it there. If you want to change and if you want to stop working at that job and stop living in this patriarchal society, then you're going to make time to get up with your sisters. Because you know how powerful you are. And you know just by meeting up with them sisters that you're going to change stuff in your life. Let's build our own land. Let's get our own land. We ain't got to worry about jobs and stuff. Bring the kids with you to the land. Let's grow our food. Y'all see here crying and complaining. I can't do this because I got to work and I got to do that. And I got to do this and I ain't got no money for that. Let's start making our own stuff. Let go of the fear. Well, I ain't got that much money. Sister, if you got 500, sister down the street got 500. Sister down the street got good credit. She can get a personal loan for 16000 Sister down the street know how to garden. Sister down the street know how to do rituals, know how to heal with crystals. Put it together. Don't you know that's your wealth right there? Come together with that money. Stop being fucking scared, complaining about everything. I got my mama. I can't leave my mama. That's my mama. Wake up. A new era and a new time. This is a new era and a new time. Sisters, we need to get together in covenants. You got to be able to detach from your so called man, your boyfriend. I'm not telling you leave them, I'm not telling you to mess up a five year or 12 year relationship. Even though that don't even count, that don't even matter because it's illusional. But if that's how some of you feel, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you got to take time out and go commune with the sister. All of our ancestors did it. They even got menstrual tents where they just chill and bleed with each other. They knew how powerful it is. Even packs of lions, lions.
playlist chill with each other. We have the ability to knock our cycles on. Don't you see how in tune we are? How connected we are with nature? We need to form together. Detach. Come together. Fear is pulling you back. Uh-uh. If I don't get a job, I'm going to pay for my life. I'm going to pay for that. I'm going to pay for my kids. Well, if we come together, I got a lot of women that coming up to these and they want to start land. They want to get land. Do some other sisters. Get with other sisters that want to do it. Even if it's you and that sister at the time raising the kids. More shall come. We have to come together, ladies. Men, you have to come together. Men, y'all need to start getting y'all land together. Getting y'all tribes together. Getting y'all covenants together. Not to teach knowledge to the women, because we the ones that's going to bring the knowledge. We the knowledge bringers. We the all knowing and creating. And not to be like, no, I'm not no feminist movement lady, or no, I'm not some lady just out there trying to promote women. That's not what it's about. Leave your human thought away when I'm speaking to you. Don't put no human in what I'm saying right now. Don't look at it physical and what I am saying right now. I can't stress it enough. I got people coming on here. The white man did this. How could you put this on the page? Get the fuck out of that old paradigm. That's a damn old paradigm. They want you to stay in that old paradigm. When we start freaking coming together on our own stuff, they're not going to be able to do nothing to us. Men, start your covenants. We have to come together, white, black, green, purple, orange. We may not all come from the same planet. We may be, some of us may be hybrids, some of us may not. But we have to find some way to balance, come to harmony. Each one of our avatars do something different. Just because you're in a white avatar or a Chinese avatar, doesn't mean that you're less or better. That just means that other people's avatars just work a little bit better than yours. Just like if you got a Porsche with cruise control with a, with a backup camera and then you got a regular Honda that can only do certain features, that doesn't mean that that car is lesser than that car. That just means that that car got more features. But we have to work together with the features that we got and come together. Y'all on these tracks. So men, get together. Learn how to fight. Learn how to be warriors. Learn how to be strong. We're going to need y'all for that. We don't need y'all for the knowledge. We got that. This is our era now. This is of a dawn of a new age. The information age. The feminine energy age. That's us. Wake up, ladies. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. And if y'all are offended by that language, get off my page. Get off my page. Because I'm serious right now. And that's an expression. That's my humanly expression. Humanly expressing myself right now. Teach them how to make swords. Breathing exercises. Bow and arrow. Shooting classes. We need you guys for that. Because what's happening is you guys are trying to pre all these men follow all these men leaders and light workers that some of y'all women follow, y'all need to pay attention. Because when they come into y'all this stuff, it's forceful. It's pushy. It's controlling. Because of the masculine energy. Even some of you ladies are very, very y'all when it comes to things. You're very pushy. I'm not going to argue with anybody, and I'm not going to debate. I have ladies trying to debate sometimes on my page and argue with you. Voice your opinion all day long. And I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. You're acting real masculine right now. I just flow. We need to get back into flowing. We need to get back to going live more, making videos more. Coming together as sisters more. And 
masculine energy is time for you guys to die down. Because that's what you're going to soon do. You're going to be a stink. Just like the white avatar and the Chinese avatar and all the other avatars are going to get darker. You guys are going to recycle. Everything is going to get back highly melodated. That's the natural avatar for this planet. This planet needs the sun. When you have a lighter avatar, you can't take the sun. You can get skin cancer. You can get sunburn. Even some black people get sunburn. So it's not, I'm not sitting here preaching about one skin color better than the other. I just guys want you, I just want you guys to know that the planet, the planet is going back to its divine harmony. The originals are becoming the originals again. The gods are being awoken. The gods is the melodated woman or the dark avatar body. Not to say that I cannot connect with any of my other sisters. We all are. Chinese, Asian, light skin, all of y'all. We need all of y'all. You all are playing a part of this. All of us are. I'm just here to tell you that the planet is about to get back on the climate. When we learn how to appropriate and use our energy, use our masculine energy, because we have masculine and feminine energy. So when you, we learn to use our masculine energy in us to give us that push and then receive that spiritual sperm with our feather inside, we can procreate on our own. And when we start procreating on our own, we're not going to be procreating men anymore. Because our DNA is going to be getting stronger. We're not going to be birthing out this mutated X. We're going to be birthing out the XX. We're going to start birthing out the XX. That's the original one. The planet is coming back into balance. We can't have mutations on this planet. If you're a hybrid, you got a hybrid avatar, or you're a mutation, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. Some of you guys may not understand or overstand what I'm saying, but some of you guys no, you remember you came from that time. I see it. I see how we was before and how powerful we were. And the rituals that we did, we healed the water just by walking around in the lake by the river, by our healing, by us being in sync, by us all visualizing, tapping into that one con uh, mind consciousness and visualizing that, that water being healed as we walk around. It. We did that, lady. The feminine energy is being under attack, and we need to find the masculine energy in ourselves and bring it in balance. It's time for us to start really getting into ourselves, rising the kundalini energy. Okay? I know some of you women are just starting out, but women who've been doing this for a while and keep talking the same stuff, it's time to do some action. It's time for the covenants. You got to be able to pick up and leave. You have to be free. Right now, I'm free. Even if I had kids, I'll be free. So you can't say, well, I got kids. You ain't got no kids. You don't know how it is. No. If I had kids, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to form me a covenant. And I'm going to bring my kids with me. And I'm here to tell you guys. I don't like to make no promises. but Because I only speak it now. But as of my now, right now. My plan as it's in the now is moving to Georgia on Monday, getting some things stuff popping in there. I'm going to be there six months. After that six months, I'm going to have the abundance that I need to go and go start this physical covenant. And I'm going to need y'all ladies to be ready. I'm going to need y'all to be ready. I'm going to need y'all to get ready to tell y'all husbands, hey, baby. I'm going to be gone for eight months, six months, a year. I'm going to be gone because I am part of this mission on earth. I know what I'm supposed to be doing, and I need my sisters right now. I'll be back. And if that man truly loves you, he going to hold you down because he know your mission. You got to be equally yoked. You got to be equally yoked. Some of you with men that only 
leaving my behind. And y'all leaving behind the path. And y'all so scared of human attachment. Y'all won't even leave them because you be like, oh, well, we were married for 12 years. Or, you know, we've been married for this long. I can't do that. Hold on to the physical. Hold on to the physical. Yes, the fuck you can do. You know you have a divine mission. Let go of that human attachment and leave him if he's not vibrating like you vibrate. I don't care if y'all been married for 40 years. Time is irrelevant. It's an illusion. Let's just come together, ladies. Let's just get free. Like I said, six months. I don't know where yet. Um, I plan on doing some traveling while I'm in Atlanta, overseas more. If you guys don't know, I traveled for four months. I was in Belize. I was in Guatemala. I was in Honduras. So I'm going to check out some stuff because I'm ready to bring this to the next level. Because I already seen this happen before and I know my, my I know my purpose. And I know that I'm supposed to be ushering in an old but new thing. Because this is an old thing. We just got to bring it back in. Love y'all. I'm about to get out of here because I'm gonna call these two apartments. I'm coming down here to see you guys in Atlanta, Georgia. But I'm about to get out of here because I used a lot of time today. I didn't even get to um Sundays. I just went straight on live because it stuff just started hitting me. So ladies, just get ready. Detach. Detach. Stop letting people treat you any kind of way. Stop letting men beat you. Stop letting them abuse you. You're being weak. How you gonna call yourself a queen if you're being weak? You a weak ass queen. A weak ass queen. Just watch out for the information. Watch these males that your so called love with they allure you y'all don't know the power to allure i need to do some research because the power to allure you know some of you guys watch true blood or vampire diaries and they when it's something called glamoring where i think it's in true blood where you like glamour somebody that's a magical power i can do that anybody can do it but the thing is, if you don't know that you're getting glamoured, somebody will be speaking some good ass shit, but you don't even see the energy that they're giving off. They're just so glamoured up. They're so allured. You're in their spell. You're caught in their net. They got you. They allure you in. And then you don't even see it in yourself. But a lot of stuff is happening. Anything that people are hiding in themselves is going to come out in their teaching. It's going to come out in the energy they give out. Pay attention to the body language. Read them. What are they doing? How are they acting? What are they saying? Feel them. So a lot of y'all coming to me asking me certain questions about certain people. Y'all see it. Y'all know what y'all see. Y'all know what y'all see. So I love you guys. Take care. This is Isis Love. Always here to spread the love. Enjoy your weekend. And keep up that raw food, y'all.